All right, Shalom, Shalom. It's your brother Wab Rumya. Back with another lesson. Lord willing, it be edifying. I want to start by give, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Wahabra Kakadash, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. The Shalom to the 144,000 men of the Lord you see on the highways and byways, prophesying in the name and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, also in the correct doctrine. I want to send a, a Shalom to the one third men, women, and children also that will escape the judgment of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah by their faith. Uh, we continually going into this uh, prophecy, man. Storms and tempests, destruction from the Almighty. As you continue to see, it's happening, man. Now, as we've been warning through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh from the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down, that these women are going to be um, subject unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh because they neglected the men of the Lord, rejected the word of the Lord. Now you're going to suffer the wrath of the Lord, man. And uh, a lot of these women are going to be two-thirds, man. But a lot of these women are going to make it and find men of the Lord and be protected from the times we're coming into. But um, all hell is about to break loose. And you're seeing they're pushing their agenda. As many videos have come out about them using their, their weapons, man. Their, tool, their toys, man. As you, you know, I, as I would say. You know what I'm saying? From their harps to the Noahs. Uh, well, all, well, all the things, man. I ain't got to name everything. But you should know by now if you're paying attention to prophecy. And I got a couple of videos I want to bring out. And I got a couple of uh, scriptures also. So let's get into it. I'm not at my um, usual spot that I usually do my videos. So it's going to be short. Uh, I got, like I said, I, um, my, my, my wife have a, her, has her children up here for they from Florida. They right there in Tampa, man. So they had to f evacuate, man. So, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I'm through the spirit and power y'all about shimmy I, I can't see them going back to anything. I, I, I just feel that. This place is in the, at the temple in the area. They're going to destroy that place, man. Now let's get to it. Parents in Florida are begging strangers to take their children to safety because they can't afford gas to escape. They're standing on the side of the road, holding signs, begging strangers to take their kids. Think about that. Parents are also writing their children's name and vital information on their chest with permanent markers so they can be identified after the storm hits do you even begin to comprehend how desperate these people are this is real right now families are facing the terrifying decision of staying behind in the path of a catastrophic hurricane because they don't have a choice hurricane milton is about to tear through everything in its path tornadoes are already hitting florida and the worst is yet to come if you're in a mandatory evacuation zone you need to get to a shelter now do you understand this storm is not a ride it out kind of hurricane? This is life or death. People are terrified. They know if they stay behind, they might not make it out alive. You might not make it out alive. Just listen to me. What's happening in Florida is unprecedented. Don't wait. Don't think you'll be the exception. Don't wait to be the next tragedy on the news. It's not too late to save yourself and your family. If you can't get out, Find the nearest shelter and get there now. So as you see it, man, people are getting desperate, man. They're, getting, they're letting their kids go with strangers because they don't know if they're going to make it out, man. A lot of these uh, Jake women was crying on TikTok in different videos about them not being able to afford to get out, man, after they done paid their rent. And that's all they had. So, man, the Lord is not playing, man. And we've warned, warned, and warned, and warned to repent to you how about Shem Yahweh Shah, man. But these people neglected our, our warning. Everything in that path for that, that storm is going to be destroyed, man. So all hell is about to break loose because they're going to bring in martial law after this, man. Because it's going to be a lot of looting, a lot of people deaths. And then check this out, man. Not only not only that though, this is a, the video showing you that they just they just they, 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 the beginning of this storm, man. Check this out. Parece un tornado enfrente de mi casa. Oh, wow.
And look at the debris. Can't say it too good, but you see what I'm saying, man, a storm. This is a video of a tornado over the area. And I can't tell you exactly where it was at, but great storms is over that place, man. Incredible. Man, look how big that storm is, man. Take up the whole sky. So you're seeing this, this destruction forming. And also, hold on, let me get this. Oh, that car just stalled out. Looks like it's not moving now. Hopefully they will get out of their car and get to some, get to a safe area as soon as possible. And we've actually been seeing uh, some people swimming through the area alligators swimming through the area i thought my i'm listening to my producer in my ear here and they've seen some alligators passing by so this is another reason why you don't want to get into this mess i mean my friend likes to call it jurassic florida uh, we have a lot of so now you're seeing alligators swimming the streets in different areas man so this is a storm not to not to uh take lightly man because you're seeing the devastation that's coming upon that place and they're saying the storms can rise up to nine feet or higher man so it's going to it's going to flood out that place man the house is going to be submerged in the water you're going to have alligators and different animals in these damn houses man it's going to kill a lot of people man so what does that look like well let's show you imagine this imagine three feet of storm surge right here now, if this amount of water catches you by surprise, it's too late to evacuate. Cars are floating around and floating away. There's large objects in here that could knock things down with a battering ram-like force. Now, there's no way, again, to evacuate with this kind of storm surge. But we know there's gonna be places with more than three feet. Imagine six feet of storm surge. Now, this completely floods out the first floors of homes and businesses, and the only way to escape that is to move to the higher floor of a building. Now, unfortunately, there are gonna be places that get more than six feet of storm surge flooding. Imagine this, nine feet and even beyond of flooding, of inundation. This is practically not survivable. So please, follow the advice of your local officials when they ask you to evacuate. And if you have any questions about what evacuation zone you're in, if you need to go and or where you need to go, go to floridadisaster.org. And by all means, everybody, please stay safe. You see, that was just CGI. Just imagine when the real thing hits, man. And I got uh, two more videos I want to play. I want to hit this. Because these people are terrified, man. Yo, man, this calling from Tampa, man. Tone from Tampa. What's up, brother? How, how was everything out there? It, it's a little light rain right now, heavy wind, but I'm going to just keep it a buck, man. It, this ain't where it's at, man. Y'all going to say y'all right it's in the middle of it. The eye going to hit. The eyes hitting Tampa from what the, the map shows right now. Man, bro, my heart, bro. I, I'm scared, man. And then we still we still recovering from Helene. And it's like, bro, I'm, I want to get this off my chest, bro. This government is playing in our faces, man. It don't matter if it's Republican or Democrat. They plan in our faces, bro. You get Ukraine come over here, they get what they want. You get immigrants come over here, they get what they want. And you got people being denied these FEMA applications that you talking about the other day, Charlemagne. Mm -hmm. People being denied, bro. Mm -hmm. But you getting these migrants coming over here, ten thousand dollar food stamps, bro. Fuck your goddamn five thousand dollars cash stipends, man. Mm -hmm. This shit hurting, bro. We we finna we finna get ready to damn near die, bro. Mm. A lot of people couldn't afford to evacuate. And this government planning our fucking face, man. Damn. I feel for you. I, I, I totally understand, my brother. Absolutely. It don't matter what they is, Democrat, Republican, they all treason, man. They all about money, bro. None of these people care about American people, bro. This shit hurt, bro. You see, Jake depending on the government, man. Depending on Esau, man. And not your how about Shem Yahushua, man. And a lot of those men and women are going to die, you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man, because 
There's nothing wrong if you 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 you, you had to evacuate, and you did. Also, it's nothing wrong if you couldn't evacuate. I mean, everybody's situation is different, man. But you have to repent to the Lord and may the Lord have mercy upon you, man. Because it's just like that when hit, they, they, many more is coming, man. And check this out. Nadine seven days after. I'm going to go back so I can read it. Nadine is coming seven days after. There. It says, one, two, three for the knockout. This would be beyond devastating. Helene just crushed Florida now seven days after Milton comes Hurricane Nadine. It'll hit roughly the same area, which means some places in Florida will, will have three it's like we have seen three major hurricanes in three weeks time. Hurricane Nadine is coming from the other side straight after Milton, expected to hit seven days after. This is coming uh, um, ap apocalyptic shit. Pray for everyone in Florida. So it is apocalyptic, man. It's the Lord's wrath upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's wrath upon Esau and his kingdom, man. And I'm going to start here in Isaiah. And I'm going to get it in the NLT. I'm going to get Isaiah 31. Because he's leaning on the government saying they ain't right, they ain't this, they ain't that. But you're not seeking your how about Shemiah Al Shah, man. The Lord gave you examples all over this country, man. All over, all on the YouTube and on social media, you seen the men of the Lord prophesying what was coming to Babylon the Great. This is uh, Isaiah 31, and I'm gonna start at verse one. This is NLT. It says, "What sorrow awaits those who look to Egypt for help?" See that? That's plain, man. It's got a helicopter right above to uh, come above, and let me see if I can get the pass over again. Isaiah 31 and 1 in NLT, it says, What sorrow awaits those who look to Egypt for help? See that? The sorrows that's coming upon you for waiting for this man for help, man. When your help should be in your how about Shem El Shah. It says, Trust, Trusting their horses, chariots, and charioteers, and depending on the strength of human armies. See that? They're waiting for the, the, uh, the FEMA to come in, the, um, their military to come in and help. To, to help them uh, rebuild and to protect them for what's coming. <laughs> the Lord said, instead of looking for Yahaw, to Yahweh by Shem Shah, the Holy One of Israel. See that? You're not looking to the power of Israel, man. The creator of everything. He created the storm. You're not looking to him or praying to him. You're looking to Esau for help, man. It says, in his wisdom, Yahweh by Shem Shah will send great disaster. See that? The Lord is sending his disaster. And there's no way around it, man. He will not change his mind. See that? This is the Lord's wrath, man. He will not change his mind. He will raise against the wicked and against their helpers. For these, for these Egyptians are merely humans, not power. See that? He's going to show you that the so-called white man is just a human, man. He's just like you. The Lord has used, uses him on the left-hand side. To bring his wrath upon the earth and upon you, man. You're going to see that this man is just a human, man, when the Lord crushes him. And uh, let, me get, let me get back to three. It says, for these Egyptians are merely er, mere humans, not power. Their horses are puny flesh. See that? Their power is just puny flesh, man. He says, not mighty spirits. When you how about Shem Yahushua raises his fist against them, those who help will stumble and those being helped will fall it says they will all fall down and die together see that the lord said you join in the esau edom you're gonna die with him man you're gonna die with him man and you own it to yourself man because you've seen 
the prophecies being spoken before your eyes, man, what was coming, man, the destruction of the Lord, man. But you're not going to be able to put it off now. You see it. This is uh, Isaiah 24. In the ver uh, start of verse 7, it says, The new wine mourneth, and the vine languisheth. All the merry heart do sigh. So all these people is high and mighty and happy and joyful. You're seeing them coming down, man, from that high state they had, man. Drinking and having fun, partying and bullshitting. It says, The mirth of the tavern ceaseth, the noise of the of that joycing, the joyce that rejoice endeth. So that all the happiness, while well, we going to the club at night, we having we popping popping bottles at night, man. We we partying at night, we turning up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? All oh, that's coming to an end. He said, "The joy of the heart ceaseth; they shall not drink wine with a song. All that partying and shit is over with, man. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it." See that you can't even escape the, the reality from these str the strong drinks that, that that you have, man. Liquor and alcohol—it's not going to escape the wrath of the Lord, man. So, because when you turn your your right, your right turn to the right, there's another disaster coming. Turn to the left, another disaster coming. This is all the hands of the Lord, man. It says, "They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. See that." A Babylon the Great is a city of confusion, man. And you're seeing it being broke down before your eyes, man. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. See that? It's no more party, no more bullshit, man. Nobody's going to be happy with each other no more, man. People are going to be at each other's throat, man. It says, there is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. See that? All joy is darkened. And that's what's happening, man. All the people, even if you're not in those areas, man, you can see it's a different spirit on the people, man. They're not happy anymore, man. It says, the mirth of the land is gone. See that? All the happiness and having fun and partying and bullshit, that's gone, man. Nobody's seeking to do that no more, man. It says, uh, in the city is left desolation and the gates is smitten with destruction. See that? These towns are being destroyed, man. A lot of these towns are not going to be ever inhabited again, man, because they can't they can't uh, rebuild them, man. They, got, they don't have any money, man. Babylonic bread is broke, man. Let me show you this real quick before I hit these other scriptures, man. Check this out. It says Hurricane Milton could cause as much as seventy one hundred and seventy five billion dollars in damage, man. One hundred seventy five billion, one hundred and seventy five billion dollars in damage, man. And you got Nadine coming right behind it, man. It's going to continue to bring destruction over there as well, man. And that's supposed to hit New Orleans, man. So, man, the wrath of the Lord is here, man. And there's no turning it back. This is Isaiah 32. This is Isaiah 32 and verse 11. It says, Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare. And gird sackcloth upon your loins. So these women that thought they didn't need no man, I'm a, I'm an independent. Now they, they turn into giving their kids away so they wouldn't just be destroyed, man. Now that they, they, they're seeing that uh, they wish they had a man because their financial burden would have been so high on them or, or so or so bad on them, man. They would have had somebody to help, somebody to protect them, somebody to guide them. So now that that that, that high that high horse. Is being taken up from, from up under you, man. You black, Hispanic, and Native American women, man. You seeing that the Lord is not playing, man. You want to join on the Esau. Now he's stripping this man down, man. And you seeing it. He says, they shall lament for the teats, for all these different benefits that was given. They ain't going to give you them benefits no more, man. They shall lament for the teats. For the pleasant fields for the the fruitful vine. See that all these handouts and benefits that Esau was giving out. That's going to be taken away, man. You're seeing it being stripped right now. Upon the land, upon the land, my people shall come up, thorns and briars. Yea, upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city. See that? Thorns and briars. You're not going to be able to go in these cities no more, man, because there's nothing going to be there. You're not going to be able to go to these stores and Walmarts and different places that this destruction of the storm is hitting. That's over with, man. It says, 
because the plate, the palaces shall be forsaken. See that? The palaces are going to be forsaken. These areas, man, these cities, these towns are going to be gone, man, never to be inhabited again. The multitude of the city shall be left. The forts and the towers shall be for dens forever. See that? They're going to be for dens forever. So these areas that you've lived in and, and, and stayed in for, for a long period of time, they're not going to be built back up, man. They're going to be dens for different animals and creatures, man. Because no one is going to be able to build those places back up, man. They're going to be forsaken, man. It says, uh, a joy of wild, uh, of wild, a joy. It says, it's like, let me read 11, 14 again. It says, because the palaces shall be forsaken, the multitude of the city shall be left, the forts and towers shall be for dens forever. A joy of a wild ass, a pasture of flocks until the spirit is be poured out upon us from on high and the wilderness be for, for, um, fruit, uh, fruitful. It's like if for the, the wilderness be fruitful field and the fruitful field be counted for forests. And that's going into something else. But the point is, man, all these different places are going to be destroyed, man. Babylon the Great is not going to be built back up, man. It's not going to be built back up, man. You see this man kingdom being destroyed right, right before your eyes. And you can't say this is not the hand of the Lord, man. Because even though Esau uses his his um different um to toys, I would say, which you should know him. I don't want to keep saying them. He's still not he's still not in control of the storms, man. The Lord put on his spirit to bring this destruction on the people, to, 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 to bring destruction, man, to bring wrath. But we know the Lord is, is behind this destruction, man. He is bringing this, not Esau. This is uh, Amos 3 and verse 6. It says, shall I, shall I trumpet be blown in the city and the people be uh, not be afraid? See that? The Lord is blowing a trumpet in that city. Man, you had, uh, I seen, I think it was some storks or something. They was walking through the city of uh, Destin, blowing the alarm, man. They were just making a loud noise. It just they was the only ones in the, in the outside, man. But somebody, you know, somebody was recording them. But they was just out there blowing it, like blowing their um, whistle, man, or whatever, in Destin, Florida, man. Nobody around them. They just blowing the horn, letting them know, man. This is the wrath of the Lord, man. Even the animals know, man. Verse six again. It says, "Shall a trumpet be blown in the city?" And the people not be afraid. Shall there be evil in a city? And Yahweh by Shem Yahushai have not done it. See that? This is the Lord doing this, man. Esau is trying to get credit for it, but this is the Lord using him on the left hand side, man, to bring his wrath, man. Surely power, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai power, will do nothing but reveal it, his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And that's who's bringing this information out to you, man. The prophets. Starting with the apostles and elders, a great millstone on down. Those men on down to, to you know, brothers like me, the teacher same likewise doctrine, are bringing this information out to you, man. The Lord revealed it to us, and now we're revealing it to you, man. And we've been talking about this, um, the destruction coming for many years, man. Now you're seeing it being manifest right before your eyes, man. The Lord is doing this. This is um, Isaiah 45 and verse 7. It says, I form the light, I create darkness, I make peace and create evil. I Yahweh by Shem Yahushua do all these things. See, see that? So the Lord is creating this evil in the earth, man. Evil destruction, evil wrath, man. <laughs> the Lord is not playing, man. The Lord is not playing, man. So that's why we we telling you, man, you fear the Lord, the Lord may have mercy upon you. If you don't, you're going to be basically stuck out there, man. To, 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 to catch the wrath of the Lord, man. Because it's only going to get worse from here, man. This is um, 2 Corinthians 5, in verse 11, it says, Knowing therefore the terror of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, we persuade men. See that? We're telling you about the wrath of the Lord, the, 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 the fear that the Lord is going to make these people see and, and believe in this word, man. For most people, you know what I'm saying, for the heathens, they, they're going to see the wrath of the Lord. For you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, you may have a chance to repent if you, if, before the judgment comes, man.
But our job is to persuade you through the fear of the Lord, man. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, we persuade men. See that? We know the terror of the Lord, man. We're telling you before it happens, man, the Lord is going to bring terror on the earth, man. It says, but we are made manifest unto power, and our trust also is made manifest in your, your, your consciousness. See that? So basically, we, we are made manifest to you so you can see. We, if we fear the Lord, you should as well, man, because we're... We we're men and you know a lot of women as well that believe and have faith in how by Shimei Al Shah. We fear the Lord, man. We're examples of you. We go on the highways and byways, you know what I'm saying? You see us on the streets, and we make these lessons because we fear the Lord, man. We know the Lord's hand is over this place and it's time for judgment. So Lord willing was edifying. I'm in it there. Shalom. Shalom.